Get ready, get ready for this pipe and hot tea. Get ready, get ready for a tea time and filter with your girl loving tea. Spilling all this hot tea on this podcast street. So get ready, get ready for this pipe and hot tea. From tea time and filter with your girl loving tea. Hey, tea sippers. I hope you guys are doing good. Happy Wednesday. I got my girl, Lady J, in the house. Lady J, we say what's up to the people. Hey, everybody. How you guys doing? I am doing good. It is a lot going on today. It's a lot of tea to spill. It's a lot of stuff to catch up on, and that's what we're going to do in this next hour. Now, one of the things, Lady J, that everybody's talking about on these internet streets is R. Kelly's sisters, okay? The three sisters coming out to defend their brother and say that their brother is innocent and that, you know, the reason why he was arrested, it was all due to racism. Um, okay. I do believe in the fact that more than one thing can exist at the same time. You know, Mm -hmm. if you want to make an argument that because R. Kelly is a man of color and his sentence was harsh because of that, Okay, that's very well possible. Stealing his money, taking advantage of him because he wasn't able to read or write well and whatever. I can believe that. Absolutely. But did he do what he did, though? And what the, what the receipts are saying is yes. Right. It doesn't negate all the other stuff is what I'm not understanding that these women are trying to say. Right. So let's go ahead and play the clip really quick. Um, So we're going to go ahead and listen to it. Just because that he has been found guilty, that doesn't mean he's guilty. Do you accept that he's done anything wrong at all? If he's done anything wrong, we are all, none of us are perfect. But as far as the extent of what they're saying, holding someone hostage, um, and these females were treated like queens, that I don't believe. That doesn't add up. It doesn't add up. Robert does not have to hold anyone hostage. Women come at him because of his status of who he is. <laughs> you know, you have thousands of women that come at him. Why does he have to hold a few hostage anywhere? Can you really sit here and say that your brother has not been with underage girls? Okay, I can say he may have been with younger women, but as far as underage girls, you know, and I, and I stress girls, underage girls, who has seen that? Well, it was proven in court that he married the singer Aaliyah when she was 15 years old. I don't know that he we married Aaliyah. That. I don't know that. Yeah. We won't discuss that. I'm not going to discuss that. <laughs> so what did you think when you first like, saw this interview? Because to me, I'm trying to figure out why there's three women up there, but only two are talking. That was, that was my first question. The one that I guess would have been sitting to the left, you know, facing the right as we're looking at the television screen. She, the edits that we saw, because she could have very well spoke, right? Mm-hmm. But what was edited for, for television viewership, we saw nothing. We saw a sister who, if that was his sister, was absolutely pulled back. Look at the body language. She was almost trying to remove herself. She was in the corner mm-hmm. and all kind of counterposed to the other sisters. And then the other two sisters were kind of facing the interviewer. And then the one in the middle, the more dominant one and stronger one. And my second question was, was that the one that molested him? Because now she's talking talk a little about- Because a lot of people are saying, okay, all these sisters are out here. They're running to, you know, protect their brother, R. Kelly. But as we all know, R. Kelly's sister um, is said to be the one who molested him. Okay. And her name, I believe, was Teresa Kelly, if I'm not wrong, or Tracy Kelly, something like that. Okay. But it's not none of these women up here. Now, I ended up getting, somebody called me today and they spilled some tea in my lap. And they basically were able to confirm to me that none of these three women are biologically R. Kelly's sisters. What? Okay. Yes. Now these three women, their names do happen to be Kelly. Their last name does happen to be Kelly. But there's a lot of Kellys out here in the world. R. Kelly ain't the only one. So their names are Kelly. And so when I got this information, I said, well, I'm confused because they've been running around 
and do, and pulling this game for like the past two years. Even during his trial, I remember the media going up to them and talking to, you know, R. Kelly's sisters. And they were saying, we're here to support our brother. He didn't do nothing wrong. So this is not their first rodeo in the media. I've seen oh. them over the years. Okay. What? What? Yes. Now we're just hoping for the best for Robert, that justice, you know, will prevail. Yes. You know, after all the injustice, and that's, not, that's what we're concerned and about. People will see the truth behind everything. New tonight, R. Kelly's sisters, Lisa and Cassandra, speaking out on day six of the singer's sex trafficking trial, telling PIX11 the case has been difficult for their family. It's hard. It's hard. It's hurtful. Um, just seeing him in a situation like this is yes. very hurtful. It's very you know, hurtful. To our family. Whatever reason, uh, this UK outlet, they did not do their job. Good morning, Britain, whatever they're called. They did not do their due diligence. Not surprising. These women, yeah, these two women are frauds. First of all, let's talk about the big strong one, the one that had the most to say, the light-skinned sister. The most, please. Okay. So the tea that I was given is that the light-skinned sister, quote unquote, has a son who is in the music industry. And he used to go by the name, well, his last name is Kelly, but because he wants to distance himself from his mother's antics, he's now changed his name to something else. He's on Instagram. I don't want to, you know, put him on blast, Let's but he's not. on Instagram. He has 31,000 followers, um, but he's a singer and an entertainer. Okay. So I believe when she got involved in this, she thought this was going to help her son's career and that it was going to oh blow my. Yes, he has a legit singing career. Now, the other sister, the one that people think is really R. Kelly's sister, because she does actually look like R. Kelly, the dark-skinned one. Mm -hmm. Now, she has a whole SoundCloud. This person huh? sent me all the links this morning and was like, these people are full of shit, and you need to let your audience know. That woman, her name on the interview was Cassandra Kelly, the, the pretty dark-skinned one. Okay. That was yeah. Okay. On SoundCloud, her name is C. Kelly, and she's a singer. Her most recent song she dropped June 27th, which was a month ago. Today is July 27th, 2022, and the song is called We Are Blessed. Girl, please. I'm going to go ahead and play you guys a sample. Just a Girl, sample. Girl, you <laughs> go ahead. May you find your Okay, y'all got enough of that trash sample. But yeah, bah, that is bah, bah. Yeah. <laughs> <She's laughs> good. Okay, Miss Billy Goat Gruff, aka Miss C. Kelly. That is a snippet from her latest song on her SoundCloud. So these women are not related to R. Kelly. None of these women Lord have R. Mercy. R. Kelly's sister who touched him and molested him, she's been in hiding for years. Okay, because ever since that tea spilled, she went into hiding. Nobody, she's not uh, trying well, to That's what out. I was saying. Wow, that would be bold if that's her. Exactly. So these women are not R. Kelly's biological sisters. They happen to have the last name Kelly, and they are true supporters of R. Kelly. They see no wrong in R. Kelly. So now what they're doing is that they're running with this narrative that they're his sisters. And, you know, <laughs> R. Kelly and the people who support him are going to support this because, again, any type of media attention that he can get to prove that he's innocent or that, you know, he was set up, they want to run with that. But these women, I assure you, from the information I got today, they are not his biological sisters. None of them. Sit y'all ass down. Like, I mean, really, is is the, the, the fame really worth selling your soul and embarrassing yourself and the potential access and legacy for your children and their children after. Like you have to be conscious of the fact that, or maybe no, that's the problem. They're not because they're so focused on a self that they're not seeing the, the forest fire that they lit around them. Like, wow, they're not even really. And don't they know that that's going to come out at some point? And then what they're going to say, we sisters in spirit. Right. Girl, I can't. You don't I cannot believe that these women are not related to him. So what about the, the third chick? 
Do I we know anything? She was, there just to, she was just there just to be their child. None of them are related to him. The other two are trying to break into the music business. The one via her son, who's now ashamed of the mother that he changed his music name. So like I said, I don't want to blast him, but I was given his information. And the other one is gone by the name C. Kelly, and she's trying to break into gospel and all that stuff. You know, again, mm. the and the attaching oneself to just recklessness and foolishness knows no bounds in this day and age. I am, I was done when I saw the video with Good Morning Britain with this Bashir lookalike. Okay. <laughs> Now, if anybody knows what I'm talking about, I can't remember his name right now, but he was the one that, had yes, blessed. the one who did the famous Diana interview. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you know, and I was, yes. And yes, that one. Thank you. Yes. You remember, girl. Um, and so that's what he was giving me. But I was already done with the whole thing. But to find out it's all a ruse. And it used to be that journalists used to be honest and forthright about what and who they were putting out, they would have put a disclaimer at the bottom like, yeah, they say they sisters, but they're not. Where's the disclaimer? You did that for clicks, likes, and views. Exactly. And that's why we don't believe nothing y'all say no more. We have to constantly fact check, fact check, fact check, because y'all put them out here like they were sisters, and it was a farce. Exactly. I and I think that's the sad part with a lot of the mainstream media. Like they're not even doing their due diligence. Like you no. said, they're looking for a viral moment and to go, you know, for look, they're looking for clicks and views. And it took me all of 20 minutes to contact certain people and get information mm. on these women. You mean to tell me with their big, you know, hefty budget at Good Morning Britain, they couldn't have figured out that these women were all frauds looking for attention and social media validation? And that part, because they didn't want to. And, and that's what I'm saying. That's what just, when I'm sitting here digesting what you're saying in real time, the next thing is like, so wait a minute, y'all knowingly, not surprising, if anybody knows anything about this outlet, we, we shouldn't be surprised, you know? But the reality is just really clear here that this was done on purpose and they don't care anymore. That is concerning. That's concerning. Wow. Wow. I'm it really crazy. is. And then, and then at the cost of another black man, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. We could say that in this case. Sure can. Yeah. But man. Wow. Wow. And the thing is, you know, is there some racial bias when it comes to, you know, the justice system? Absolutely. He got more time than Ghislaine Maxwell. Mm -hmm. But either way, regardless of he got 30 and she got 10 or 20, whatever, he that does not negate the things that he did. Were right. some of those so-called victims, frauds, and attention-seeking whores? Absolutely. Like Faith Rogers, okay, who almost messed up the damn case. But thank goodness there were real victims in there who had real receipts. You know what I'm saying? That the jury was able to right. listen to outside of the attention seeking ones that came there looking for fame and, you know, I guess herpes simplex too. But, <laughs> but with that being said, that does not negate that this man, you know what I'm saying, knew what he was doing. And, le and let's think about this, right? He had already lucked up. He lucked up with the first situation. That Sparkles and his family decide to take the payday, right? Let's back talk about it. Let's talk about mm -hmm. it. That is why mm -hmm. he wasn't locked up back then because they decided to take the payday. They said that what the, the father said it wasn't his daughter, you know, and and because R. Kelly never went to trial and everything got thrown out, the the industry and the public embraced him again. We all did. I remember, remember the Jay Z, the best, of, what was it, the the best of both worlds too? During that that TP two era, that's what it was, a TP two era. Yes, yes, he, he had, had it locked. Jams, people. Then he, a few years later, he came out with the whole in the closet, you know, Killed that whole it. ten part series. So Killed the public it. really embraced R. Kelly. We mm -hmm. wanted to see R. Kelly win. We were kind of confused. We didn't know all the ins and outs about the Aaliyah situation, you know. Right. So for him to be given grace with the Aaliyah situation, because that got swept under the rug, 
Then the sex tape comes out. The family says it's not the daughter. Folks were like, well, you know, if the family's saying it's not their child, what can we do? We're just the public. So uh -huh. this man was given grace not once but twice. People seem to forget this, okay? Yep. Yep. And instead of him being humble and saying, you know what? I really lucked up. I'm a lucky mother effer. Let me go on the straight and narrow. Let me go find right. a wife of my age. Let me start doing the right thing because obviously I was messing up. And you know what I'm saying? I've been blessed to see a, not only a first but a second chance. The man mm. got arrogant. He got cocky. And he got mm. even more deviant. I feel no ways about R. Kelly. Yo, what's up? Baby, let's go. Hey, tea sippers To listen to the rest of this podcast, please go to Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play, Stitcher, Tuned In, or AnchorFM.com, which is a free podcasting site. Thank you guys so much for the support, and stay tuned for the next video.